coming up on uh, Friday, uh, Alzheimer's Orange County will uh, be having the Alzheimer's Orange County Club meeting here in Laguna Woods Village. And uh, we have on today Dan Daly, who I'm sure you, uh, if you've watched our show for a while, you know. He is the healthcare outreach specialist for Alzheimer's Orange County. Nice to have you back. Nice to see you again, and uh, Happy New Year to you and everybody in the community. Yeah, uh, you as well. So this is going to be a very um, interesting topic. It's entitled Maintaining Brain Health as We Age, right? Right, exactly. Uh, Dr. Tonya Vodkowski, she's a clinical uh, psychologist. Mm -hmm. She's done uh, numerous works with, uh, in research with uh, UCI Mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She also was a president of a recently formed company called Creative Care Solutions. But she's an excellent speaker. She's the most sought after speaker. And she's going to make an excellent presentation tomorrow. Uh, the topic will be maintaining brain health as we age. Mm -hmm. And what she will do is she will address some of the modifiable lifestyle factors that do affect brain health as we age. In addition, then, she will discuss the strategies in how to modify some of these lifestyle behaviors okay. uh, that will overall affect, in a positive manner, brain mm -hmm. health. Yeah, we often hear about that, how uh, it's just as important, probably more important in some ways, to maintain your brain health even than your your actual, uh, you know, your physical, physical health sure. is important sure. too. But quite often, that is what's emphasized, you know, the exercise and things like that. But exercising your mind is uh, probably more important. Healthy body, healthy mind, mm -hmm. they go in tandem. Yeah. Any activity that you can do to stimulate the brain, very, very important. Mm -hmm. And in many cases, it's as simple as, as reading a book or absolutely. learning something new every day. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Staying active is key, Yeah, real key. Uh, also, in addition to this being a new year, as you know now, uh, we have a new name. Right. It's now Alzheimer's Orange County. A uh, decision was made back in December that we would be, uh, become an independent entity. And this is the result of two factors. Number one, in Orange County, there are 84,000 uh, afflicted with Alzheimer's. We presently serve 29,000 individuals. Wow. Now, the Alzheimer's Association, the national office, they wanted to absorb all 84 chapters under one umbrella. Mm -hmm. And uh, the board of directors of our chapter felt that they did not want to have any minimization of the services based on the face-to-face -face personal contacts mm -hmm. we've had over the years. Secondly, uh, for every dollar uh, that was raised, 40 cents of every dollar went to the national office. So becoming independent now, we will maintain uh, and monitor that budget so that we retain 100% of the, the monies. So those monies then will be used for the benefit of the families mm -hmm. and also local research. So that yeah. is the reason why we became independent and nothing else has changed. The colors now, it's blue rather yeah. than purple. And I can see why, uh, I can see one, why you did that, but also while, why it's important to the people who live in Orange County. Absolutely. There's something a little more comforting knowing that when they donate to this or help this organization, it's, it's staying in their neighborhood, so to speak. Absolutely. It, it's very analogous to you take a large company uh, in the healthcare <clears throat> business. There was mm -hmm. a company called Kendall back in Boston. They had a, a national brand. They had a very successful division uh, that they spun off. And that division now is more successful than the parent company. Interesting. So Orange County is a very entrepreneurial county. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of giving people you to do. charities. There are a lot of nonprofit uh, organizations in Orange County. So we felt that it was in the best interest of the community and the families and individuals that we were going to maintain that support, but also enhance some of these programs. Now, it's quite possible that there might be some new programs that we'll introduce in 2016. And any decision will be made quickly, where before you'd have to wait for the green light from mm -hmm. the national office yeah. that might hinder the progress of implementing a new program. So we are here most exclusively for the, the families and the individuals suffering from yeah. Alzheimer's and, and Alzheimer's dementia. I think that's great. I really do. Because 
not only uh, are, you, are you serving this community a little bit more, uh, you're, you're more pinpointing and targeting rather than the national. I mean, the national, it, they did great work, let's face it. And for many areas of the country, that's the way to go. But as you said, Orange County is now kind of an in independent. Uh, I think you were telling me San Diego and New York, am right. I right? San yeah. Diego and New York City chapter. And mm -hmm. there are others uh, that I believe are investigating it as well. But those, we are the, the three. Yeah. I might also add that Orange County over the years has been ranked uh, number one and number two of all the chapters in the United States for a lot of different programs mm -hmm. that we provide. Well, uh, you know, Orange County is, uh, particularly South Orange County, is really known for its level of, uh, of senior care. I mean, this is one of, sort of, one of the epicenters, so to speak, sure. of advancements in senior care Absolutely. and studies as well. I mean, with UCI, let's face it, they're one of the leaders. Oh, one of the yeah. it's, a, it's a world-renowned institution now. Yeah, so. exactly. Great program. And if you want to go to this uh, program on Friday, January 8th, tomorrow, from 10 until noon, you certainly can. And it's gonna be a Clubhouse 3 in room two. Now, um, I have an RSVP, an RSVP number, RSVP number, if I, can, if I can say that, to call because you need to know how many people are coming, right? It is free. It is free, it's open to the public. Uh, okay. if, if there isn't an RSVP, that's fine. If okay. somebody decides at the 11th hour they'd like to go, the doors are open, they're always welcome. Okay, but the number is 844-373-4400 RSVP, if I can get that out. But if you forget that, you wanna go by Clubhouse 3 tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock, uh, maintaining brain health as we age. Should be very informative. Dan, good to see you. Great to see you again, and thank you for your hospitality once more. All right. A big I, shout out pleasure. to Happy New Year to everybody in the community. All right. We'll see you again soon. Thank you, Ken. Take care. We'll be right back.